Hello everyone, how you doing? Uh, yeah, let's get back to it. As, as I started to, to do, I was going to get into mental health, and I will still do it. I am out of my word, and you're all, you're all, start, you're all starting to realise that. But I have had a genuine health condition. I really was crook. Uh, the day I went out of the hospital, I had a bad turn, and then when I got home, my word, it went downhill from there. You can even hear it in my voice, you know, a couple of days later after. I started work on my workshop, which I'm still doing, by the way. It's, I'm, I'm about a quarter of the way through it. Um, yeah, I'm going to upload, like I said, about mental health, bits and bobs. And some of it, a lot of it will be from my mind, but some of it um, will be AI and some of it will be text. You know, just to prove what I'm saying to you is pretty much factual. And these are teachings from Carl Jung, this guy here, who's a, a leading expert in his field of psychiatry. So, here's a little text about the demon drink, which a lot of people struggle with, including me. Um, I, as I say, I drink most days, and uh, I don't get drunk. I can't get drunk anymore. I've got to that point where I actually I don't feel I get drunk. I could cane a bottle of whiskey, well not, I, I drink brandy, you get a nice BSOP. A litre, I could drink a litre of that, and, and 20 of them, and I'd still be like I'd had I think it's ridiculous. So that's that's part of my problem. So I'm going to address that and, and many other issues. People have um, drug problems and all that. You know, I used to take a lot of Charlie. You know, I don't anymore because of my heart and well other situations. I just haven't done for a long time. But I do still drink. I'm still doing well with the smoking. Um, having the fag here and there. I'm actually having one right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm actually having one now, right now. You know, but I completely cut it out for about three weeks and then I went. On about two day binge and then I cut it out again and then a couple of days ago I started smoking only about three four a day not many three or four a day don't forget I was on 25 30 a day so I think that's pretty good I'm still trying it's, it's a struggle though because I, 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 I'm 58 and I've been smoking since I was 12 so it's very very difficult so um, if anyone else is out there doing the same thing keep going you're gonna slip you're gonna slip a little bit it's gonna happen it's a natural it's a natural order of things when you've been smoking or drinking for years you can have little slip ups but slowly but surely you fade it out get rid of that that's how you do it slowly but surely don't rush into nothing mate take your time fade it out slowly but surely and then you'll just be a social drinker you know drinking on um, weekends but not excessively you know keeping it to a, a, a respectable limit not getting you know bladdered um, and if you're giving up smoking just one or two here and there once a month whatever just cut it down eventually you can nip it in the bud but the drink that that's fine to have every now and then because we all go out we've all got mates and we all socialize and we have a drink because it's sociable isn't it um, but don't drink in excess keep it to a medium and you'll do all right and fade it out to a nothing and eventually you can pick and choose when you want to do these things and you won't have a problem with it and it won't affect your life and everything will be hunky-dory and we're going to get into loads of other areas of mental health but one step at a time mate first thing i'm going to address as i say is drink and depression and things like that and why we drink so this is what the text is enjoy Speak to you soon. Take care. Love you all. Really, really take care, man. All of you. Seriously.